Though that Democrat primary is still more than two weeks away, the governor has turned his focus to the Republican candidate he'll face in November. Good evening, everyone. I'm Claudine Ewing. The ad wars have already begun for the general election. Dave McKinley looks at the latest Cuomo ad in tonight's Verify report. The Cuomo re-election ads we've seen thus far on television in western New York have been all about the governor and in political parlance would be called positive ads. They don't even mention his opponents, but one running in the eastern part of the state is much different, an attack ad, skipping over Nixon and aimed at Mark Molinaro. The ad called Trump Mini-Me calls Molinaro a puppet of the president. Mark Molinaro is just like Trump. Except he didn't even vote for him. Now, there's no way to verify this because his vote, just like yours, is secret. But according to Molinaro, he wrote in the name of former Congressman Chris Gibson for president in 2016. His campaign notes, Governor Cuomo, on the other hand, has accepted $64,000 in political donations from Mr. Trump over the years. Money the governor says he has no intention of returning. He opposes a woman's right to choose. Molinaro's gone on record several times to state that while he would not support expanding access to late-term abortions, any existing abortion rights are settled as matters of law, which he would not attempt to change. Opposes marriage equality. It is true that when the gay marriage bill came before state lawmakers in 2011, Molinaro, as a member of the Assembly, voted against it. But he has said his views have since evolved and now considers it a basic civil right. Has an A rating from the NRA and opposes reasonable gun laws. The thing is, Molinaro isn't currently rated by the NRA, and he hasn't gotten any money from them, according to his campaign finance disclosure forms. He told us he was opposed to passage of the SAFE Act several years ago, only because it was rushed through in the middle of the night with no chance for alternative voices to be heard. Molinaro even supported Trump's tax plan that will raise New York income and property taxes as much as 30 percent. Actually, Molinaro joined Cuomo in opposing that plan because it capped the deduction for state and local property taxes. Cuomo's claim that it will raise income and property taxes, by the way, has yet to be proven. And just like Trump, he won't release his past tax returns. Actually, he did, and their contents were widely reported, including by us, nearly four months ago. Molinaro also recently launched an attack ad of his own, highlighting the corruption scandals which have rocked the Cuomo administration and resulted in convictions for some of his top aides. Lawyers for Cuomo's campaign actually sent cease and desist letters to TV stations trying to get them not to run it. They aired them anyway. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.